first person I had to deal with was my mother. <laughs> she hated snakes, the idea. Uh, coming from Colombia, there's horror stories of these animals out in the Amazon, which is rightfully so because those animals have to defend themselves so they don't have the nice docile um, uh, persona that these animals have. But usually I just ask for some time with those individuals that are afraid of snakes. And typically after them seeing how placid and trustworthy these animals can be, that they typically come around and will be able to at least hold the snake, touch the snake, and Eventually, many people even say that they want their own snakes once they realize how, how, um, how misunderstood these animals are. Although I would love to believe that I think these snakes love me and know me, um, I truly don't think that they do. I think they're aware of humans as a whole. Um, but they don't necessarily know me as an individual. But these guys have been all bred in captivity, so they've been around humans their whole entire lives. And because of that, they've grown to trust, and because none of these animals have gone through um, any traumatic experiences because I've made sure to, uh, to treat them really well, they trust me, and because of that, I'm able to have a nice, um, rewarding relationship with these animals. And everything is completely based off trust. I think bunnies are much more affectionate and do actually um, know me as opposed to other people. Penelope around me, she's uh, a lot more affectionate. She'll come up and give me kisses, whereas with strangers, she'll sometimes just, as she's doing right now, just sit here. Uh, so with rabbits, I do believe that they're, um, they're much more intelligent animals, so they're able to comprehend like the relationship that we have. And I think it's also them, part of it's um, them understanding that I'm the provider of food. <laughs> Whereas the snakes don't really understand, they just see a rat entering the cage and they'll, um, they'll strike at that. I feel like cats and dogs are more, say, needy type animals, especially dogs. Dogs need more constant exercise, um, they, want, they value um, attention a lot more. Whereas bunnies, they just, they, need, uh, they just need to have interaction time. I take her out and but I don't have to like constantly go on walks with her and stuff like that, so it just makes it easy throughout college life. I love the little guy, but I don't really think, I don't even think she's aware like that I'm the one who gives her food or you know, put her in her environment, sort of just is more aware of her surroundings, but not necessarily me, except when I pull her out and I'm just some foreign concept. Um, I do think she knows like people mean food and they mean warmth. If you hold her long enough, she actually won't want to go back in her cage. She'd rather just stay on your hand and, you know, stay warm. here in college and 24 all together doesn't seem like that much in comparison <laughs> That's fair. but compared to the average person yeah um, it is a lot but I think it's just because of the environment that I'm around and I know I dedicate my whole life to these animals